Do you think Android users are missing out on the experience of one of the most popular smartwatches on the market? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Apple Watch and whether it should be a standalone product that works on Android phones and not just on the iPhone. This is a topic that has been debated for a long time and recent reports about Apple possibly once having, but subsequently abandoning a secret project to make the Apple Watch compatible with Android devices, only not coming to life because Apple were concerned about potential iPhone sales. So in this quick video, let's dive into those pros and cons of making the Apple Watch more independent and open to other platforms. First, let's look at the pros. Can you imagine the Apple Watch as a standalone product? Surely it would expand its market potential and reach more customers who just don't own an iPhone. More of the world uses an Android phone and an Apple Watch not tethered to the iPhone is a potential buy for those Android users. All of those potential customers who might be interested in buying an Apple Watch but can't because they don't have or don't ever want an iPhone. By making the Apple Watch compatible with Android phones, Apple could tap into this huge market and increase its revenue and brand recognition. And who knows, those Android users could one day convert over to the iPhone. Another advantage of making the Apple Watch a standalone product is that it would enhance its functionality and convenience for users. Right now, we all know that the Apple Watch relies heavily on the iPhone for many features such as setting up, syncing data, updating software, and accessing certain apps. So basically, in its current iteration, Apple Watch is essentially useless without the iPhone. If the Apple Watch could work independently of the iPhone, users could enjoy more freedom and flexibility in using it. This would make the Apple Watch more useful and appealing to those users who value mobility and simplicity. Let's look at the cons. Obviously, the main disadvantage of making the Apple Watch a standalone product, and if it's true that Apple were once looking into this but decided against it, and it's hard not to believe that it would actually hurt the iPhone sales and the Apple ecosystem as a whole. The Apple Watch is designed to work seamlessly with the iPhone and other Apple products such as AirPods, the iPad and the Mac, but this creates a loyal customer base and that much loved and much hated brand loyalty that is more likely to buy and use multiple Apple devices and services. By making the Apple Watch compatible with Android phones, Apple would certainly lose some of its competitive edge and definitely customer loyalty as users might want to switch to other brands and platforms that offer more variety and compatibility, which would essentially affect those iPhone sales. Another disadvantage is that it would compromise its quality and performance. The Apple Watch is known for its sleek design, smooth interface, those advanced features, and its ease of use. These features are made possible by the tight integration between the hardware and the software of the Apple Watch and the iPhone. By making the Apple Watch compatible with Android phones, Apple would have to sacrifice some of those features or make them less reliable or accurate, as Android phones have different specifications and operating systems. Apple would be going from making the Apple Watch compatible to just the iPhone to the Apple Watch that is compatible for all of these different Android phones, which would lower the customer satisfaction and the reputation of the Apple Watch, because we all know that the experience is going to vary depending on which device you use it on. So what do you think? Should the Apple Watch be a standalone product that works with Android phones or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't for more videos just like this. And I'll see you in the next one.